it's Tiny Tay and I'm back today with some more baking shenanigans. In today's video, we'll be making Coffee Cat Starbucks Sugar Plum Cheese Danishes. If you remember from my past video, I tried these and I was like mildly impressed with them, but now I'm going to try again because I've noticed my taste buds have been changing a lot, which is exciting for me because I often like to try things that I didn't like before, um, and in the last few months I've been trying things that I didn't like before and now I like them. So we're going to give the cream cheese danish one more try. If you are new here, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. If you are returning, hi, welcome back. I have missed you. Let's get started with our danishes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So next you want to get your puff pastries. You can make your own, but I'm using the pre-made store-bought because, well, I'm not that good of a baker. So then you need one sheet. Which I think this is one sheet. Oh gosh, I don't know. Yeah. So then it says cut these into squares. So I'm gonna use a pizza cutter because I feel like that would be the oh god, that was a terrible square. Okay, those are better. Boom. Boom. And then it says to press into the muffin tin gently. And that's how I have it. We will set these off to the side. Okay, so next in a bowl you want to get your cream cheese. You need four ounces of cream cheese. I'm using this dairy-free cream cheese and this whole thing is eight ounces. So I'm just going to put in what I think is half. <laughs> wow, look at how pretty. I guess it'd be better to do it this way. Boom, cream cheese. And then it says you need one to two tablespoons of cream cheese. And since I like things pretty sweet, I'm gonna use two, if I can get it out without spelling. So then it says to mix. So then it says to spread into the puff pastry with a spoon. So that's what we shall do.
so now in a different bowl we are going to do one fourth cup of plum jam. I'm using this Smucker's Red Plum Jam. Ah! I guess I should have used a spoon. I don't know. Probably. But whatever, we're here now, so let's roll with it. Then we need one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, and then you can also add in ground cloves at this step, but I'm going to skip it because I'm not really a huge fan of them. And then you mix it. And that is what it looks like. Super beautiful. Beautiful tint to it. And then we add a dollop onto our pastry puffs. So here we go. Okay guys, so I may have forgotten arguably the most important step and that would be making sure that these don't stick to your muffin sheet so you need to spray them with something before you cook them because I'm sure that they will stick because well, most uh, pastries and baked things do that so even if they don't I'm going to because I have a terrible habit of forgetting that and I don't want these to be stuck and ruined. So if you're like me and always forget, here's your reminder. If you saw me put these in there and were like, Tay, you didn't even spray it. Well, here we are. Thanks for the reminder. Let's get these babies in the oven. We are going to bake them for 20 minutes. Okay guys, so remember when I said that part about being sure to oil your pan? Probably don't oil your pan because as you can see, I probably wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, what else is new? Because these are all like cracking and can't come out now. And it's fine, I'll just live with my mistakes forever. I'm going to get one of these out, then we'll do a taste test. Alrighty guys, let's give her a taste test. You won't believe that I like it. <laughs> Maybe it's just it tastes better because you made it kind of thing, but it's really good. I will also say that you should probably use one eighth teaspoon of cinnamon instead of one fourth because that cinnamon is very I don't want to say strong because it's not strong, but it's 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 there and it's not yeah. So I really do like it. It honestly tastes very good. It's very light and flaky, which I love. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10, which I rarely do, but wow, this one works it. This, this one is better than the Starbucks one. Please make this super easy. It literally takes 10 minutes, and they're very good. And a nice after-dinner treat or, like, breakfast treat. Like, it's so, it's like a croissant, except better. So please try these. If you enjoyed this video today, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and come back for more. Bye! See you later!